What day is it? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's Nate from the Scrub Academy here welcoming you to Spell Saturday. Now, Spell Saturday is a day where we both took five spells, put them into this here jar, and we go ahead and we get to draw one. And we gotta discuss, how, discuss it with you guys, and you guys let us know in the, in the comment section what you think of, the set, of that card, and then we go from there. So, I went ahead and pulled the, first, the last card out of here for Trap Tuesday, so we're gonna go ahead and shake this thing up. And we're gonna have Trap go ahead and pull a spell. Should have had you pull the trap. Trap, but you know, it's whatever. First one. First spell of the week is. Well, only spell of the week. A card that shouldn't be banned. Monarch Stormforth. I know that you guys couldn't see that, but Monarch Stormforth was a card that I picked because I played Monarchs. I got my my uh, I got my invite with Monarchs with the original well, Super Quantum Monarchs with the red with the red Quantum and blue Quantum and Utilities. but. That's what I played. It was it was it was Monarchs. I love Monarchs. Monarchs is a deck that I played. It was the first Frog deck that I played. If you go back to Monday, we talked about Substone, how I started playing with Frog Monarchs. Uh, Monarchs were my love. I have you know Ulti Kaisas, Ulti Ryzas, Ulti Mobius. I have all the original Ultis. Um, so I was really pumped when Monarchs were going to come out because it was very budget friendly, and at the time I didn't have much money. I was working very little hours at work, and I didn't have that much money, so I was able to get this. Got my invite with it. Stormforth is amazing. I loved it. Needs to go. Uh, you, you it's one of those cards where you love it when you play with it because you're mm -hmm. using it against somebody. The second you play against somebody who's using that card, mm -hmm. you're just pissed because it's like one of those cards where they can just get whatever, get rid of whatever they want. Yeah. Non-targeting. Non-targeting. Non-targeting, tributing, not destroying. Mm -hmm. Get whatever, whatever they need to. Especially in Monarchs. Like, okay, tribute your monster, bring out Erebus, send two, Spin another one of your monsters. You just minus two. He plus because he has Pantheism and Prime in the Grave now. And he's just going to go off. So you just, you're just F U C K E D fucked. Yeah. There's no way if and or buts about it. You're screwed. It's a great card. I love the card when I'm using it. Like I said, you always want to draw into it. And when you're doing the mirror match, I feel like it's whoever runs out of Stormforce versus loses. Mm -hmm. I feel like bad. Might be a little too much, so I'm gonna slow down on that. Limit it at least, though. Limit it to one. Because that card is powerful. It's just like not the non targeting. It's like Ignista. Like non targeting, getting rid of something. Like that's gonna always be really, really good. Limited or semi limited, I would think. Um, it doesn't hurt. It hurts other decks from using it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't hurt Monarchs. Because everybody would say that Monarchs would be destroyed, they would be wrecked if Stormforth or Pantheism would hit. I agree with Pantheism because they obviously already have this problem with. Wrecking. Mm -hmm. But you can always get things back. Mm -hmm. Banish for Prime, and then you just get Idea into the Grave, and you get to add the card back. So Storm for that 2 isn't that bad, because they can recycle it. I mean, yes, you want to recycle your Pantheons, but at some point you're not going to want to, to like recycle the Pantheons anymore, because you've already drawn all of your stuff, and you can't really banish for it anyway. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really work out like that. But at the same time, Stormforth, you can just reuse and reuse and reuse and reuse and reuse. Over and I can just over be here. Because they can just recycle it. So yes, Stormforth, amazing card. I love the card. That's why I put it in here, because I love the card. But at the same time, you can love a card and you can hate a card. Because when you're playing against it, you hate the damn card. Because you never want to see your opponent and say, Reveal for your tenacity. Okay. Activate tenacity. Reveal, reveal Erebus. Add, add Stormforth. And you're like... Okay, well, I already know what's coming. Right. I already know what's coming next. <laughs> Doesn't matter what happens. I'm losing a monster. I'm getting something spun back, and I'm getting attacked for 28. Yeah. So when they storm forth into Majesty's Vein or Vanity's Vein, it's like... And either way, you still cry. It's like yeah, yeah. automatic crying it's just, mode. Yeah, but it's just bad either way. If you, they activate a storm forth, just know what's going on with that one here over there. So just, just be ready for it. Just accept failure. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Of Monarchs Storm Forth, or you think it should be limited, semi limited, not touched at all. If you don't think as broken, if you're one of those Monarch purists who think that there's only thing in life is Monarchs, you need help, we'll <laughs> let us know, we'll figure it out, we'll start a GoFundMe for you, something like that, we'll get you the help you need. We yes. won't judge you, but we will. But yes, let us know down in the comment section what you believe Storm Forth, what you think, what you think about Storm Forth in general, whether you think it's good, bad, in general. 
neutral, whatever whatever you feel like doing. Also down in the description. Because I've been doing this every single video we've done so far will be my deck profile for Monarchs. And you can see how many I use and whatnot. I'm pretty sure I actually had the golds by then. Mm -hmm. I think I had the gold mm -hmm. Storm Force. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. As always, we're going to get up out of here and probably go find something else to do because we can't sit here all day. Probably should go do laundry or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Dave Travis from Scrub Academy signing out for now. Peace out.